Um, <clears throat> I think I think with that is is really very much all about what sort of foundation uh, that you're building. Um, I never tell people that this industry is easy because it's not. You know, it really is very much a business that tests you mentally. But there's nothing that you need to do that's actually hard. So it might sound a little bit, you know, a little bit confusing. You know, so when you're starting in your business, you know, there are a few things that you need to understand. You know, on your first week, that's, you're going to be performing at the very worst level you're ever going to perform in your network marketing career. But understanding your second week and your second month and your second year, you're going to be constantly getting better and better and better and better. And the one core thing that you've got to be fantastic at um, is being able to share a story about a product range and an opportunity that you're absolutely passionate about. And the more times you share that story and the, and the better way, the more believable way, the more passionate way that you're able to share that story is going to directly relate to the level of income that you're going to earn and also the number of people that you're going to enrol and also the number of people that the uh, distributors that you bring on board also enrol because they're going to be feeding off your example. So one of the worst things that happens with someone that starts in this business, they get all very excited. It's a little bit like, you know, the dating game. You've just, you've just fallen into a relationship with a new partner and you're going through that honeymoon period. You know, you're all excited. Um, you know, everything's amazing. And then after about a month, you start to get a little bit familiar. And that excitement that you have, that level of falling in love is starting to uh, subside and, and reduce. And the way that you're feeling is starting to be a little bit different. And it's the same in network marketing. Quite often people are just super excited and gung-ho in their first month, but then the second month it's a little bit less, and it's a little bit less, and it's a little bit less. We've heard when people, when I've heard people on stage talk about secrets and keys, what Susan said before, consistent and persistent is probably the most common bit of advice you'll ever get from a successful network marketer because can you stay at the peak of your passion and interest in this business and product as you were in the first month as in the second month the third month the fourth month the fifth month do you know what the stupidest question that i'm ever asked you know as a double diamond uh lyndon do you still enroll people it's like asking Roger Federer, do you still like hitting a tennis ball? I mean, it's a crazy question because that's the way that I can earn income and inspire someone else. That's the number one role that I have to play in building a successful network marketing business. So never stop enrolling and passionately sharing that story and never believe that the first 10 people that you enroll are going to be the ones that are going to turn you into a diamond because that's highly unlikely to happen. So uh, that's, that's my bit of advice there. Excellent. And I, each answer you can tell.